For the first project in this course, students are going to create a basic portfolio website that can be seen here as an example that is actually Chapter 5 from the textbook. Before diving in and starting, a couple of things to point out. Number one, students are going to be required to do some pre-planning on the portfolio. I will include another video with suggestions on how to do this. However, this video is going to mainly focus on preparing and thinking about your portfolio and how to start the web page. My first bit of advice, especially if you are brand new to HTML and CSS, keep it simple. Do what the textbook suggests and follow along. Now, having said that though, you are always welcome that if you want to go above and beyond and test other things out, such as background colors, etc., adding audio or video or anything like that, you're more than welcome to. However, for the main goal of this project, what you're seeing before you right now, this is what I am looking for. I want to see that you can structure your folders correctly and have your code link up correctly. Now, remember, you do have the Web Design Playground site that if it would help alongside reading through the textbook, remember, you can go up to the menu option and for the book projects, you do actually have walkthroughs that can help you here. So you would be creating a personal homepage. This entire walkthrough here takes you through also as far as demonstrating what you are going to be doing as far as the website. So if this can be a helpful asset to you, you are encouraged to use it. Now, along with that, I'd like to talk a little bit more about what's going to go on in the background. So when you're working through the first project here, number one, you're going to want to make sure that you do have a project folder of some type for submission. Now let me go ahead and show you the project one folder just directly in my explorer here and then I'll take you into Atom. So once again if you remember from our previous videos I had that CIT 125 folder for all of my activities in the class. So what I did was I made a specific folder called project one. Now within project one I did make a CSS folder to contain my CSS style sheet and then I also have the index.html document which is what you were seeing in your web browser right here. Now, with this in mind here, just a couple of notes. You're seeing a CSS folder because whenever I do any form of sort of web work, to point out, it's pretty common that we actually separate the different web languages into specific folders. It's a habit I picked up from a long time of doing web dev. Note, you don't have to do this. For a project this small, you could technically just have your project one folder, have the index document, and then have your CSS document if you prefer. Now, let me go ahead into Atom here. As a reminder, one of the first things you're going to need to do when you're in Atom, or any of your other IDEs, is you're going to need to add your project folder, which I've already done here in project one. This is a reflection of what you're seeing outside of the uh, IDE. And notice right now I actually have both of the web, the web page and the CSS document open. So from here, you're going to want to go through and you are going to go through and actually write out the code here. I'm not actually going to give this to you. Um, there is some beliefs as far as actually going through the process of typing the code, which I encourage you to do along with chapter five. If you get really stuck, I would then actually go into the web design playground site and actually use their website. Now, having said that, on top of everything else, a few things to note. As far as the website is concerned, I did actually use real links here. So for instance, if you click on GitHub, it actually does open my GitHub website. If you are not comfortable sharing this information right now, you can just use fake URLs. If you want to just go to like the GitHub homepage or maybe the YouTube homepage, that's absolutely fine for this project. However, if you're thinking about a portfolio website, at some point you are at bare bones minimum, probably going to need a GitHub and a LinkedIn. Later on in the course here, we will be working with GitHub and I'm gonna show you how you can actually have a portfolio site directly on GitHub. In the meantime, however, I am more concerned about you actually going through and actually building a website with a single web page for this first project. So I hope this overview helped you as far as getting started and starting to think about your project one. My suggestion is review chapter five first, read through it before you do anything. From there, 
watch the next video regarding how you can set up and how you can do pre-designing and planning for your project. From there, go ahead and dive into your IDE. Start setting up your project folder in your index and CSS documents. And then lastly, if you do need more assistance, either reach out to me or also to work through the Playground website. Use the assistance there to actually build out the web page.